Good afternoon. Welcome to the commencement ceremony for the Ford Zumaldi's class of 2022. Please rise and join me in honoring our country with the singing of the Star Spangled Banner and our school's alma mater being performed by the combined chamber choir of Fort Zumwalt East High School. I would ask that you remain standing until both songs have concluded. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Thank you, Mrs. Frazier and the East High Chamber Choir. Please be seated. Senior choir members, you may take your seats with your fellow graduates. Once again, good afternoon. My name is Brian Bishop, and I am the principal at Ford Zumwalt East High School. It is truly a privilege to be here today to honor our graduating seniors, the great students who make up the class of 2022. This is a special event in the lives of each of the seniors seated before us, as well as for their family and friends. Not only is this a milestone event for these 279 students, but also for the Fort Zumwalt School District and for Fort Zumwalt East High School. An impressive accomplishment, such as a high school graduation, is worthy of a dignified ceremony. And it is with this in mind that we ask the graduates and spectators to maintain expectations appropriate for such an occasion. We also ask that spectators show their appreciation for our graduates in a respectful manner. We do re request that any applause is done in a tasteful fashion, warranted by such a formal event, as each graduate deserves to have their name heard as they walk across the stage. Likewise, our graduates are prepared to remain dignified throughout the ceremony. It is our hope that all spectators and graduates from the class of 2022 will help us continue the excellent tradition of a co commencement ceremonies at East High that was begun 13 years ago. I thank you for your cooperation and hope that you enjoy this afternoon's program. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our stage guests. I ask these guests to please rise as I introduce them and remain standing until all have been introduced. Please hold your applause until all honored guests have been introduced. Dr. Bernard Debray, Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Paul Myers, Deputy Superintendent, Administrative Services. Dr. Jeff Marion, member of the Board of Education. Mr. Craig Moore, member of the Board of Education. East High Juniors who led the processional and will be assisting with the program this afternoon. Andrew Hetty and Julia Vitale. 
Seated at the front of the stage, Mr. Joshua Devlin, Assistant Principal. Ms. Ashley Vaughn, Assistant Principal. Mr. David Wall, Assistant Principal. Mr. Aaron Wright, Assistant Principal. Mr. Tim Grimes, Activities Director. Mrs. Patty Joyce, Counseling Department Chair. Mrs. Jane Douglas, Counselor. Mrs. Jennifer Mann, Counselor. Mrs. Margaret Osborne, Crisis Counselor. How about a nice round of applause for all of our honored guests. You may be seated. At the end of each row of, of a student seating is a member of the Fort Zumaldi's faculty who is volunteering their time to be here to honor our graduates and assist with this program. We would like to say thank you to the teachers who have provided so much for these students. Today represents the culmination of all of their hard work with our students over the last four years. If East High teachers could please stand and be honored with a round of applause. Thank you. And I'd like to recognize one additional person. Would Mr. Grimes please stand? Mr. Grimes is completing his 29th year in Fort Zumwalt and will be retiring. He's been the only activities director in the history of Fort Zumwalt East High School. He is a tremendous man and has done a tremendous job. Thank you, Mr. Grimes, for all your hard work. All right, before we progress too much further into today's festivities, need to get a couple things out of the way. I want to wish our nine senior baseball players, Luke Abishan, Parker Davis, Alex Hebner, Brendan Jackson, Alex McCrary, Riley McDonough, Evan Newcorn, Logan Schwert, Justin Smith, their teammates, Coach Hill, Coach Lotzenheiser, and our entire varsity team, good luck as they play in the state quarterfinal baseball game today at 4 o'clock at East High. I would also like to congratulate T.J. Fields as he competed at the state track meet this morning in the shot put. And Matty Rowald, who competed at the straight state track meet yesterday, earning a seventh place medal and a new school record in the javelin. At this time, please welcome Fort Zumwalt Superintendent Dr. Bernard DeBray as he comes to provide his comments for today's ceremony. And could I please have our senior members of the symphonic band join their fellow members in the back of the arena floor. Thank you, Brian. And welcome everyone. This is a, a great turnout for an exciting time for our seniors in their lives. <clears throat> I'll try to keep my comments short so I don't take away from the ceremony, but I do have just a few comments I'd like to make. First of all, I want to congratulate our seniors for reaching this milestone in their life, and this is a milestone. You only have one high school graduation, and you have met all the requirements of the Board of Education and the State of Missouri for receiving a high school diploma, diploma in Missouri. So there's no one seated among you that haven't met those requirements, so it's quite an accomplishment. I want to congratulate our faculty for another great year of, of education and teaching. Um, we're, we've taught through another year of the pandemic. Uh, it's been very difficult, but you persevered. You didn't back off. You didn't back down. And we've brought these kids to this point. So thank you guys so much. I want to congratulate uh, Brian Bishop. He's completing eight years as our principal, and he's leaving our district. Uh, so much, so sorry to hear that. but. Uh, he's going on to uh, a new position. I'd like you to join me and congratulate him uh, for a great eight years at East High School. <laughs> July 1st, we'll have a new principal, uh, only the third principal in the history of East High School, Ashley Vaughn, an assistant will be our uh, new principal. We're really excited and they're looking for great things from her. So how about a nice hand for Ashley? Let's send her off in the right spirit. <clears throat> you 
You know, in 1987, uh, the school district high schools uh, began holding all-night graduation parties. And in those days, uh, it was kind of an innovative idea. Uh, we started it with uh, North High School, which was our only high school that graduated students at that time. And our parents came together and helped and plan an all-night celebration that kept the kids together and avoided some of the tragedies that occasionally get associated with these exciting times in their lives. So um, we have an all-night graduation uh, party planned, and I just wanted you to recognize those parents that have uh, spent the time getting raising the funds and having uh, this activity this evening. So as I call your name, would you please stand and be recognized by the audience? Tina Lindemann. Marlene Vogel. Randy Reagan. Michelle Breitbach. And Lisa Walden. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Some people uh, like these graduations being on Memorial Day weekend, and some people don't. Uh, sometimes they've got other activities planned, and they just as soon we not interfere with that with a graduation ceremony. We've had this scheduled this way for many, many years. I like it, and I like it because we emphasize a lot in our school district the remembrance of our veterans which is what Memorial Day is all about. So every one of our 27 schools, every Memorial, every Veterans Day, will have some celebration that recognizes our veterans. Some of them are very elaborate. Some just go through the, the plan of recognizing our veterans, and uh, maybe it's grandparents that, uh, that have served in the, in the armed forces. But everybody does something on Veterans Days. We do not want our our students as they grow to not remember what our veterans have done for us. Memorial Day is a 160-year-old tradition. Started out as Decoration Day when widows of the Confederacy and the Union decorated the graves of fallen soldiers. That went on all the way until 1971 when it became Memorial Day. On Memorial Day is the last Monday in May at 3 o'clock on that last Monday in May is a time for reflection, a time for remembrance. And on that day, we are supposed to remember those relatives, those people, acquaintances that we've known that have paid the ultimate price, given their lives, so that we can have the freedoms we have in our country today, just like this, this activity. So I, I think it's something that has just become ingrained in our school district and it makes it a little, I think it gives Memorial Day a little extra emphasis to have our graduations on that day. I want to mention to you the students that from this class that have uh, already signed up for military service, and I'd like to ask you to stand, please, and be recognized by our audience. So first, Dylan Willis for the Marines. Thank you, Dylan. Noah Buckles. U.S. Navy. <laughs> Timothy Franklin, the Marines. And Connor Olson, the Army National Guard. Thank you, guys. We, we really appreciate you volunteering your services for our military. And now something that's become a tradition for uh, East High School is the March of the Bands that will be played by our, our own uh, band. And when uh, your particular service uh, anthem comes up, please stand and be recognized by our audience. Rick, take it away. Thank you. 
the Army. Coast Guard. Thank you, Rick. I love doing that. I appreciate you all participating with that. Enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Thank you, Dr. DeBray. Senior band members, you may join your fellow graduates. To the class of 2022, you're finally here. Graduation. And let me say what an honor it is to stand before you to look out at the faces that have touched the lives of so many already. Today is a day of celebration, not just of the past, not just of today, but of the future you're about to embark upon. I'm excited to see you all, and it is a great honor and privilege to stand before you. Recently, I sat struggling to find the words I wanted to share with each of you. I was filled with a wide array of emotions, from nostalgia to sadness to excitement and everything in between. I reflected on what we have been through together, both in and out of school, and it was in those moments that I began to realize what I wanted to say. I recognize that over our time together, it has been you, the class of 2022, who have been teaching me and helping me to be a better person. All the quick talks in the hallways, the high fives, the smiles in the morning, the lunchroom shenanigans, remember those Among Us games for those of you guys who were playing, hanging out at sporting events, chatting after performances, and having conversations about anything and everything. Those interactions, and each of you have made a lasting impact on me. I'm gonna make it through this. Here's what I've learned from you, one, Choose to find the good in a situation. John Spence, who is recognized as the top business thought leader and leadership development expert in the world, says when you choose to see the good in others, you find the good in others. You have all helped me to do this. I watched as you held the door for your classmates in the rain. I watched how you hugged a friend during a difficult time. I've seen so many of you do the right thing even though you thought nobody was looking, be it turning in a phone or money to the office, or picking up trash in the commons after lunch. It was during these times that you've all showed a servant's heart. This was on display when I was injured in a car accident. I cherished the outpouring of support from the well wishes and notes of encouragements to the welcome backs when I returned. You have demonstrated the importance of being kind and caring and finding the good in others. Continue to have that mindset as you move on to the next chapters of your lives. The second lesson you taught me was to learn from what comes at you in life. Through our four years together, we have seen and been through a lot in the classroom, out of the classroom, and in life as a whole. 
Through all of these highs and lows, you persevered. You adapted to online learning, social distancing, one-way hallways, prom with no dancing, and so much more. You learned Canvas and have been mentors, not just for students, but also staff, on how to navigate the ever-changing tech age. You have a propensity to celebrate the wins and learn from the losses and stare down challenges and push them out of your way. Through all of this, as I said at Senior Awards, the FZE class of 2022 has been awarded over $10 million in scholarships. Your perseverance has been inspirational and has helped shape the never given attitude that you are known for. Keep going as that will take you far in your future endeavors. The third lesson you taught me was maintain a positive attitude. Think about the first time you entered East High. Remember back to that daunting task of climbing five flights of stairs on a daily basis. You knew you were in trouble if you had to make it from PE to five south. However, you did not let that stop you from making it. And instead, you stood, winded, telling your teacher, give me a second, catching your breath, and then making yourselves rock stars in class. Throughout your senior year, you have rallied around your classmates and cheered for our Lions. This was evident at various events as your support was in record numbers. Win or lose, in a hostile or friendly environment, you continued to display a positive attitude and were role models for the future generations of Lions. Remember what Joyce Meyer says, a positive attitude gives you power over your circumstances instead of your circumstances having power over you. You've done that choosing to respect the E and show East Side pride. I think no moment was more special to me than when you all sung the alma mater to us this past Tuesday. As you yelled for two Maldives through the commons, I couldn't help but hear the pride you have that you will carry with you as you leave. I'm encouraged by your boldness and strength. Keep that lion pride as you endeavor to do great things in your future. Class of 2022, remember life is a journey and as this part of your journey ends, a new one begins. Take with you the experiences you have learned at East High and embrace the new and exciting adventure you are beginning. You have all accomplished great things and are destined to do even more. Take a moment to thank your family, friends, classmates, teachers, and anyone else who has helped you achieve these successes. And, that rem and remember, no matter where life takes you, you will forever be lions. Who knew that it would be the amazing class of 2022 that would be the one teaching me life lessons, but I wouldn't have it any other way. As you continue to grow and learn, don't forget what you've already acquired and how you've already left a legacy on people, on East High, and on our community. I am so proud of all of you, and I will miss you. Congratulations, class of 2022. You did it. Now I'd like to ask Mr. Tim Grimes, Activities Director, to come to the stage, and could I please have the senior members of the choir report to the risers. Mr. Grimes will present the first of our two special awards this afternoon. The recipients of these special awards will be given a lion statue with an engraved plaque to commemorate the award. The award for leadership and loyalty was voted on by the faculty of Fort Zumwalt East High School. The individual receiving this award has demonstrated the skills to be an effective leader by example, foresight, and initiative, and has exhibited the energy to guide others in a trustworthy and sincere capacity. This award goes to Daniela Amaya Gonzalez. Daniela is the daughter of Mr. Martin Aguiar and Ms. Anna Gonzalez Diaz. While at East High, Daniela has participated in the Student Council, FZEIM, PPI, the Leader League, and National Honor Society. Daniela plans on attending St. Charles Community College in the fall to pursue a career in the medical field. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fort Zoom All East. Hold on. Wait, 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 I gotta introduce you.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Fortune Walter Youth Faculty Choice for Leadership and Loyalty Award, Daniela Maya Gonzalez. Congratulations, Daniela. Good job. All right, you can go. Now let's prepare to enjoy the vocal musical selection and wherever you go, which was written by Pasek Douglas Wagner and has been performed by the Ford Tumulti senior choir members under the direction of Mrs. Jenny Frazier. Thank you, Mrs. Frazier and senior choir members, Daniela Maya Gonzalez, Natalie Benton, Caitlin Bruno, Zach Fisher, Ricky Lanier, Griffin O'Donnell, Ashley Oviedo Marino, Carter Phillips, Ashley Porter, Jacob Schoenberger, Kelsey Slesarenko, Sabrina Stavely, Hannah Stebby, Alex Tunami, Jessica Wansing, and Olivia Whalen for an outstanding performance. At this time, it is my distinct honor to invite our student speaker to the stage. Would East High senior Natalie Benton please approach the stage? <laughs> Natalie is the daughter of Joe and Dawn Benton. She plans to attend Westminster College after graduation and major in computer science. Please join me in welcoming FZE senior Natalie Benton. Good afternoon, Fort Zumo East family, friends, staff, and seniors. I'd like to congratulate you all on your current achievements, but today I must address more pressing matters. A time before AP exams and football games, the elementary school playground, 
the twisty slides seemed taller than our tippy toes, and the kickball fields became war grounds. Oddly enough, I don't think anywhere in the world could represent our class better. Freshman year, we treacherously crossed the monkey bars from middle school to high school. Terrified, our hands glued clammy and our tummies turned. There is so much uncertainty in the unknown. Will I make friends? Will I ever make it up the stairs without dying? The answer to that one is no. Will I make the team? Fear made us queasy, but step by step, bar by bar, we continued making our way across. We swung our legs and propelled ourselves forwards. We studied all night long. We auditioned for the play. We joined the club. And eventually, our hands grew strong with calluses. The monkey bars transported us all into the new world of high school. After finally jumping off the end of the monkey bars, we confidently ran to the swings for sophomore year. We had found our rhythm. Back and forth, over and over, we gained confidence in who we were and who we wanted to be. However, all of a sudden, the biggest meanie on the playground pushed us all, the COVID-19 pandemic. All confidence gained crumbled to the ground, and we had to put on a cast to fix the broken bones. Self-care was practiced, Zoom meetings were attended, and social distancing was achieved. We did what we needed to heal the boo-boos. However, junior year came, and our cast came off clean. Back to the playground, we returned with our wounds gone and our masks on. Officiously upperclassmen, we confidently swaggered to the tetherball pool with a newfound approach. We were no longer dipping our toes into the water. We came to fight. We take all of our hardest classes. We began taking on leadership roles in our activities, and we can go to prom. We smack the tetherball with passion and drive for our future. We watch it spin round the pole until finally we reach completion. Junior year, we earned our seniority. We won. Senior year, we entered the four square court in the top left square, the A spot. Finally, we crowned the court. We, we worked our way up past the ranking of the past three squares, and we were influencing the past spots we once played on. We were PPI mentors for the Jokers, teaching them lessons about how to survive the square. The sophomore queens looked at us to fantasize what it would be like to finally reach our ending. We sympathized with the kings, so close to the top, yet so overflowed with work. It's time to reflect on our past and look forward to see what exists outside of yard games. Today, we are at the top of the biggest slide. Your teachers are telling you it's time to leave, but you are here for just one last time. Your heart beats fast as you contemplate what comes at the bottom of the slide. No matter your path, however, there is wonder in the rush. Enjoy the journey down and enter the world with adrenaline and new hope for the world in front of you. Though some of us may leave high school with a quivering lip and a teary eye, the past four years of running in the sun have prepared you for this. As we walk forward on diverging roads, remember where you came from. Fort Zumo East, thank you for being the place for our inner childs to run free. I will never forget you, and neither will the class of 22. Thank you, Natalie. I would like to ask Mr. Tim Grimes, Activities Director, to come to the stage one last time to present the second of our special awards. Also, could I please have our senior members of the symphonic band join their fellow band members in the back of the arena floor. The second award was also voted on by the faculty of Fort Zumwalt East and is given out for citizenship. The individual receiving this award has consistently demonstrated behavior which is honest, moral, respectful, and ethical. This individual has conducted his life in a manner to be emulated by his peers. This award goes to East High senior, Noah Myers. <laughs> Noah is the son of Dr. and Mrs. Dr. and Mrs. Paul and Kristen Myers. While at East, Noah has been involved in soccer, Missouri Boys State, East Elite, junior class representative, leader league, PPI, and NHS. 
Noah plans on attending Missouri University of Science and Technology to study civil engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ford Zumwalt East Faculty Choice for Citizenship Award, Noah Myers. Congratulations, Noah. It is now my privilege to introduce the Fort Zumwalt East High School Symphonic Band under the direction of Mr. Rick Pageant, who will be performing the musical selection King Across the Water by Bruce Frazier.
Thank you for Zoom All Youth Symphonic Band, Mr. Pageant, and our senior band members, Kaylin Bruno, Phoenix Callison, Hope Kaler, Richie Ellis, Matthew Gantner, Chase Hatton, Dominic Lawson, Cade Myers, Evan Newcorn, Zach Perano, Carter Phillips, Ted Randolph, Connor Robinette, and Katie Thompson. Senior band members, return to your seats with your fellow graduates. The class of 2022 will continue to be recognized as graduating with Latin honors. Students must have taken a minimum of 12 semester courses and earned six credits of advanced coursework. Students who have met the credit requirement and who have achieved a cumulative grade point average over the last four years at East High of 3.8 to 3.99 have earned cum laude honor, which in Latin means with distinction. Those students who achieved the credit requirement and grade point average of 4.0 to 4.19 have earned magna cum laude, which in Latin means great distinction. And the most prestigious honor awarded to those students who have achieved the credit requirement and grade point average of a 4.2 and above, as they have earned summa cum laude status, which in Latin means with highest honor distinction. Our graduates are presented this afternoon. You will hear many of them have achieved these esteemed honors. The calling of graduate names will be done by Mr. Steve Watsonheiser, mathematics and project lead the way teacher at East High School, and Mr. Matt Whitehead, English language arts teacher at, math high, at East High School. And at this time, I would like to ask the members of the Fort Jumal Board of Education and the East faculty to please prepare to present diplomas to the class of 2022. These students have met the grade and credit requirements of the Fort Zumwalt Board of Education and the state of Missouri and should now prepare to receive their diplomas. Abdaruf Iyad Afana. <laughs> Scott Joseph Ahern, cum laude. <laughs> Mohammed Sifian Algaheim. <laughs> Daniela Jasmine Amaya Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Jaden Rene Amon, summa cum laude. Haley Rene Andershock. Ava Marie Arambula. Kimberly Grace Akinyi Arodi. Luke Joseph Aubuchon. Samantha Nicole Bain. Riley Marie Ballard. Thomas Patrick Bambrick, summa cum laude. Anthony Michael Barks. Hunter Otto Basham. Tanner Wayne Bates. Bryce Patrick Beach. Daniel Brian Beatty, summa cum laude. Joshua Bradley Bex. Victoria Lynn Benier, cum laude. Carter Edward Bennett. 
Natalie Kira Benton, Summa Cum Laude. Samuel Gary Bamer. Virtue Nicole Billups. Erica Jane Bleckley. Jack Robert Bolin. Travis Lamont Bernard. Kobe Randall Bowman. Landon Joseph Boyles. Richard Scott Boyts, Jr. Jeremy Vale Brangenberg. Abigail Nicole Breen. Isabella Shea Breitbach, cum laude. Ava Michael Brennan. Dominique Nicole Brock. Connor Allen Browns. Caitlin Elise Bruno, magna cum laude. Jacob Dylan Bruska. Noah David Buckles. Noah Carl Butler. Phoenix Lane Callison. Carly Paige Cantrell. Emma Renee Carr, magna cum laude. Isabel Hasmin Castaneda, summa cum laude. Janaya Kenya Cato. Hope Caroline Kaler, summa cum laude. Jaden Zane Cessna. Emma Grace Cochran, magna cum laude. Caleb Ryan Cooper. Chloe Michaela Cosby. Evan Jacob Coyle. Blaze Warchild Cross. Alexander Ray Crossen. Den Aaron Sebastian Cruz. Megan Clarice Cummings, summa cum laude. Zachary Stephen Cummings, magna cum laude. Tess Elizabeth Joe Dom. Julia Marie Davidson. Parker Allen Davis, summa cum laude. Leah Tara Dean. Callie Murray Demarest. Francisco Diaz. Madeline Rosemary Dolan. 
Grace Ellen Dukesher, summa cum laude. Jalen Michelle Duval, summa cum laude. Yasmin Janae Edmondson, magna cum laude. Richard Anthony Ellis III. Ella Grace Elmendorf, summa cum laude. Brian Allen Evans, Jr. Mahmoud Kamal Fahrud. Taviar Santone Fields. Zachary Robert Fisher. Carlos Alexander Flores. Kyle Patrick Fox. Aja Ray Janelle Franklin. Timothy Lee Franklin, Jr. Aaron Wayne Freed. Denea Michelle Fugate. Matthew Allen Gantner, cum laude. Paris Garner. Henry Walter Gilinardo, magna cum laude. Evan Carter Glasgow. Nicholas Patrick Glagoza. Cody Ryan Goki. <laughs> Natalia Isabel Gonzalez, Matt Cum Laude. <laughs> Gonzalo Gonzalez. <laughs> William Henry Griffin, Summa Cum Laude. Cora Lee Griffin, summa cum laude. Jack Patrick Gunther, magna cum laude. Alexis Alexandria Gwynn. Titan Carlos Key Hall. Rebecca Ann Ham. Alexis Jean Haney. McKenna Marie Hansen. Ali Numa Hashmi. Ishna Shazad Hassan. Chase Daniel Hatton. Riley Mal Yon Held. Samuel Dominicus Henry, magna cum laude. David Anthony Hensick, Jr. Drew Joseph Holmes. John Alexander Hopkins.
Scout, Thomas Hudson, summa cum laude. Alexander Christian Hebner, summa cum laude. Faith Renee Hull. Brendan Edward Jackson. Shannon Maria Stormy Ray Jackson, magna cum laude. Julian Lee James. Trinity Christine James. Christina Marie Johnson. Juliana Najaneev Johnson. Ava Grace Johnston, summa cum laude. Jaden Alexandria Jones. Paris Leah Jones. Jason Mark Candlebinder, Jr. Emily Alyssa Carr, summa cum laude. Megan Teresa Casper. Abigail Sue Kester, summa cum laude. Kayla Lynn Kindler, magna cum laude. Brianna Elizabeth Klobe, summa cum laude. Alyssa Sharon Kroger Machuta. Austin Michael Kuhlenberg. Emily Michelle Lammert. Madison Marie Lamphier. Peyton Daniel Lampley. Josephine Louise Lamsick, summa cum laude. Raquel Courtney Linear. Gavin James Lawler. Dominic Ryan Lawson. Joshua Timothy Lane. Marina Ruth Leadley, cum laude. Caitlin Marie Lindemann. Cameron Hunter Mamillion. Justin Lamar Mangrum. Logan Michael Mansfield. Tava Jonas Markowski. Gabriel David Matlock. Chase Ashton Meyer. Emily Grace McBride. Alex Tyler McCrary. Riley Robert McDonough. Yeah. 
Lillian Mary Hyun Ah McNeely, summa cum laude. Savannah Margaret Milster. Avery Lee Moore. Kyla Aaron Moore. Paige Catherine Morgan, summa cum laude. Sana Sane Morris. Colin Austin Morrow. Jack Edward Moynihan. Dominic Michael Mrazic. Miranda Mary Mulligan. Rachel Mwangi. Cade Richard Myers, summa cum laude. Jake Edward Myers, summa cum laude. Noah Edgar Myers, summa cum laude. Randy Jesus Narvaez. Xander Matthias Newcomb. Evan Lee Newcorn, summa cum laude. Joshua Jerome Newcorn, summa cum laude. Amber Tan Win, summa cum laude. Taylor Rosalyn Nielsen. Griffin Tyler O'Donnell, summa cum laude. Megan Bell O'Donnell. Drake William O'Hearn, magna cum laude. Caleb Michael O'Keefe. Brady Matthew Oshner. Ashley Janella Oviedo Marino, magna cum laude. Braden Timothy Oxford. Hannah Nicole Pagel, magna cum laude. Emily Marie Parker. Jackson Samuel Perrick, summa cum laude. Nicole Lynn Pate, summa cum laude. Kirsten Danielle Payne, magna cum laude. Zachary Ryan Perano, cum laude. Carter Edward Phillips. Cameron Elijah Pierce. Isabel Marie Podmore. Jasmine Ashley Ponce. Ashley Marie Porter, summa cum laude. Kyle Craig Prater. Oh, 
Chelsea J. Proctor. Megan Rose Quinones, summa cum laude. Juan Francisco Ramos. Christian Robert Randall, summa cum laude. Thomas Edward Randolph. Gracie Caitlin Reagan. Alexander Joseph Francis Riddell. Carolina Renee Reimer, cum laude. Nathan Ray Richardson. Luca James Ritter. Eric Vandegrift Rivera. Connor Stephen Robinette, summa cum laude. Elian Romero. Madeline Rose Rowald, summa cum laude. Abigail Pearl Sanders, summa cum laude. Benjamin Thomas Sanders. Tyranny Sine Sanford. Ethan Michael Saunders, magna cum laude. Jacob Thomas Schoenberger. Samantha Jacqueline Shu, cum laude. Sophia Ruthann Shu, cum laude. Logan Matthew Schwert. Fermage Armonica Janine Scott. Vermaya Elise Janine Scott. Calvin Harold Searing. Aubrey Elizabeth Shadden, summa cum laude. Tyler Lane Short. Grace Victoria Shoemate. Destiny Shadir Siblis. Dylan Rose Sinner. Kelsey Renee Slesarenko. Carson Ronald Smith. Evan Daniel Smith, summa cum laude. Justin Blake Smith. Samantha Bell Smith. Madison Elizabeth Spikinger. Jack Thomas Spillane, summa cum laude. Samantha Grace Spreeder, summa cum laude. Matthew Jacob Springer, 
summa cum laude. <laughs> Kathleen Eva Stengel, summa cum laude. <laughs> Sabrina Trinity Stavely. <laughs> Hannah Vance Nicole Stebby, cum laude. Madison Nicole Stryker. Dier Omarion Sutton. Jace Taro Tamanaha. Elandra Tapia Munoz. Allison Marie Taylor. Damian Christopher Tebow. Caitlin Mary Christine Thompson, cum laude. Tice McKinley Thompson. Shane Thomas Toland. Alexander Tomas Tuami, magna cum laude. Brittany Tran. Austin Joseph Unger. Benjamin Austin Uptain. Madison Lee Vogel. Devin Michael Walden. Matthew Edward Walden. Zarian J. Walker. Jessica Marie Wansing. Destiny Leanne Waters. Olivia Wendy Wayland, magna cum laude. Delaney Grace Weisbrook. Alexander Francis Wilding, cum laude. Dylan Andrew Willis. Brennan Michael Wilson. Caduce Berhani Wadarage, cum laude. Aiden Riley Woodyard, cum laude. Gabriel Edward Wright. Jeremy Christopher Zarbos. Ella Rose Francis Ziegemeyer. I figure I've got about $2.78 there. If you couldn't tell, each, most of them gave me a penny or two or three, depending how many they had, and I appreciate that. I'll put it towards my retirement fund, how's that? All right, at this time, I would like to thank Dr. DeBray, the Board of Education, the members of the district administrative office staff, the administration and faculty of Ford Zumwalt East High School. 
Fort Zumwalt East class of 2022, I congratulate you on earning the distinct honor of high school graduate. Our faculty wishes you only the very best in your bright futures. Would the class of 2022 please stand? All right. It is now time for our graduates to move their tassel to the left to signify graduate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Fort Zumwalt East graduating class of 2022. And would everyone please stand and rise for the processional.